14, what do you really know about life? The best thing you have going for you is your innocence. Of course, most 14 year olds don't know that. I do. That's Desi. He doesn't trust anyone. I understand. He was ripped from his mother at birth. He was starved and beaten. He was near death when found. So was I. There comes a time when you don't know if you can go on. When you wish you could close your eyes and make the pain melt away. I closed my eyes and saw the face of every man and every woman who did nothing to stop them. I thought I was alone, but I was wrong. Desi doesn't trust anyone except me. I don't blame him. But we were both innocent. We learned that from each other. We had lost hope, but we found it here. Or rather, hope found us. And this is where we learn to live unbridled. The girls, when they first come to corral, typically um, they don't make eye contact. Um, they don't look you in the eye. They're very sad. Concerned and confused. Lost, lonely, hurting, and wanting someone to love them. Sometimes angry, confused, definitely don't have control of their emotions. Most of them can't even identify their emotions. Sad, but hopeful. Hopeful. All of our girls have had a tough go at life for one reason or another. Over 80% of our girls are victims of abuse, neglect, or trauma. Some of them have been trafficked. Um, others of them have experienced sexual violence. Others of them have come from alcoholic homes um, or uh, been engaged in substance abuse themselves. Um, many of them are uh, victims of psychological and um, emotional abuse. So. They're all kids that have just been dealt a tough hand in life. They needed a really holistic intervention. So we've created that at Corral. Uh, it's uh, academic tutoring, it's therapy, it's mentorship, it's vocational training, it's the sport of horseback riding. And we, we provide these wraparound services so that we really can provide a transformational life change for the girls. Our horses are almost all rescue horses and they've come from a variety of different situations, but all of them without without exception, don't trust humans. They've also been through things like the girls. They've been neglected, they've been abused. Um, we have several horses that were severely underweight um, or their training had um, been abusive instead of rewarding. The girls get to see themselves very much mirrored in the horses. So in the same way that they came in and they were angry and they were distrustful, and they didn't want to form relationships when they work with the, the horse that's come in and experiencing those same things and they watch that change, they think, well, maybe I can change too. When a human approaches them, they instantly know what is your, are you nervous, anxious, tense, worried, happy, overbalanced, concerned. They know it instantly. And natural horsemanship is important because it's all about the relationship. And that's what's key to the girls changing. If you can have a healthy relationship with a horse, you can have a healthy relationship with a human. Success. When you see them at the end of the year, after a year in this program, and they're smiling and they're confident, um, they can stand up for themselves and they know they have value, that's when you know you're successful. A blossoming. I would say a confidence. Creativity. Uh, the ability to problem solve and the first word that really comes to mind is joy. Proud, they are loving, they're stable. We want to see them go to college. We want to see them thrive in healthy relationships. We want to see them uh, finding their gifts and their passions and learning how to use them to support the community that has supported them. <laughs>